Hello YouTubers. Uh, this is a new series where I start talking about software patterns. Um, if you are working in the software industry, you'll notice that there's you'll hear a lot of stuff about solid patterns and microservices and you'll hear clients and you'll hear uh, consumers and, and providers and um, you know uh, best practices these terms seems to need a little bit of categorization when it comes to you understanding why these terms are put in place um, when you're writing software there are four different patterns or four different layers of, of design that you need to be aware of when you're trying to learn about a certain pattern or a certain architecture. Uh, software has four levels that define how your software is going to be written on different levels. So if you're starting from the very high top level, there's the architecture level, which, which dictates how your components are going to be, to be put together. So if you're building multiple services, let's say in a microservices architecture or a serverless architecture, um, it, the architecture tells you where to put these components, be, these big services that are standalone running, providing services by themselves. The architecture will tell you what to do with that. But there is below that, there's another layer on the service itself, which is the high level design. A high level design in a service basically tells you why this service like what's what's the what's the general pattern or the general organization of which this service would be uh, uh, developed so for instance in microservices there is the controller service broker pattern this is a high level design that tells you where to look when you're looking for uh, a specific class that does a, a specific thing. This is different from another layer under that going into the class itself, how the class itself is operating and um, how do you define what the class should do or shouldn't do. Right. So, for instance, patterns would be like a, a, a solid patterns. You know, you hear something about, you know, single responsibility or, or dependency injection or dependency inversion. You know, this defines the the common theme of how the class is, is, is functioning or is intended to be functioning. And there is a layer under that, which is the best practices, how you actually write the function within the class. How do you um, write the code? What are the best practices? The top three layers that I told you about are, for the most part, technology agnostic. So you could do microservices architecture with uh, JavaScript, with Node.js. You could do it with C, with C Sharp. You could actually do it with whatever languages you want to do. So is the high-level design and the patterns. But the best practices are very, very technology very very programming language specific so the the best practices that some developers see in C sharp are not exactly the same in Java or in Scala you know the things that you see that some developers see in in a language like uh, Lua is not exactly the same as Python these are very programming language specific and they are standardized they are published you know, you can uh, look them up on the internet. For instance, if you're writing your software in C Sharp, there's a lot of best practices published out there on Microsoft uh, documentation website. You know, and the same goes for Java and all other languages. What I'm going to talk to you about in this series, though, uh, I'm mainly focused on the patterns themselves, this layer in here. Because this layer is very important when it comes to um, understanding you know how what's the common theme of your class what what's your classes intended to do you know on a on a on a on a class level right uh, these patterns are very important the most common ones like i said are solid principles that were uh, introduced by robert c martin also known commonly known as uncle bob but there are also really other really not very famous patterns but they could come in very very handy uh, for very specific business needs. So I'm going to talk about these as well, but I'm definitely starting with solid patterns. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, follow me on Twitter, and uh, you know I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.